um, the next statement might be a little uh, startling as well. Uh, William Penn, who we all revere as the founder of the city of brotherly love, and who is alleged to have been very kind to the Native Americans that he bought property from, was in fact a slaveholder. Um, you do know, of course, that he founded Philadelphia. You may not know that uh, over the next few years, he purchased what our state uh, was originally constituted as two parts, both East and West Jersey. He and a, a syndicate, frankly, of other men, most of whom were Quakers, purchased and he owned all of New Jersey at one point. Um, he had a friend named Lewis Morris, actually was a friend of his father, uh, but Lewis Morris uh, was a landowner on my side of the state over here in Tint Falls on a big property and an iron works. And in his 1691 will, uh, Lewis Morris, and I've read the will, bequeaths a slave named Yaff to William Penn on the condition. So we can see all of these people are coming from England. Okay, so he's buying Philadelphia, later buys East and West Jersey. So Jersey is being uh, stormed with England Quakers, uh, Philadelphia being stormed with German Quakers. And yeah, this is how all these people come over here and they're settlers, but swear they're Americans. And that pen comes back. And the story there is that after Penn founded Philadelphia, set it up, he went back to London. He was a merchant and an entrepreneur. And See, he went back to London. These people are setting up corporations, right? And going back to their country. Then leaving their offsprings here and they thinking they're American. Like, is you crazy? Now, when Lewis Morris was reaching his end, he uh, sent this kind of inducement over to London to try to get uh, William Penn to come back to uh, the colonies at that point. And as a kind of a quid pro quo, he said, I'll give you my personal servant, Yaf. Um, and we know a lot about Yaf. Yaf was an African who had been enslaved in Barbados to Lewis Morris. And Lewis How are you talking? Morris How are you talking brotherly love and the Quaker preach we equal and y'all got slaves though. Like peep the game, like this whole game, they about to run down though. Him up with 60 other slaves to New Jersey. Um, and he stayed faithful uh, in his duties to Lewis Morris until 1691. Well, it turns out that um, in 1699, William Penn does come back from London to Pennsylvania. Okay, look, 1691, look right? 1691, right? Now let's pay attention. Is a lie. 1691. White people did not exist before 1681. Again, white people did not exist on planet Earth until 1681. Okay. They did not exist, right? They ain't exist till 1681, right? Okay, the history of Burlington, right? Burlington Police Department, the history, right? The city of Burlington is rich in history. Founded in 1677. So if, who are these people? Where do they bloodline come from? Because we know, it ain't no white people yet. I'll, at this time, 16, hey, listen. What are y'all calling yourself? Christians? Because it wasn't white. That's y'all history. White people did not exist before 1681. 1681. Okay, so Burlington, the, that's, that's got my property. That's, that's out here flexing. 1677. Who are you? Who are you? Our community once served as the capital of West Jersey. Not New Jersey, West Jersey, right? Keep that in mind. All right, so let me, let's go back. Let's go back. Come on, John. Lewis Morris's nephew, who had been no, named yeah, after him, Sunday. who later became our first royal colonial governor, presents Yaff to William Penn. And he stayed with William Penn for a long time, both in Philadelphia, where Penn had a house, 
and also to a place that some of you may have been to called Penn Manor, up river a little bit from uh, Pennsylvania, uh, the site of his, if you will, country estate. Um, we have a letter from uh, William Penn back to his secretary uh, uh, in James Logan in Philadelphia when Penn goes back to London. Goes it's back to London. Letter dated 1703. Go back to London, 1703. Okay, so now they got a status quo. White, 1703. Okay, they rock it now. They rock it now, right? Again, white people did not exist on planet Earth until 1681. Number two, any claim that this group called white people, um, any claim that that group is rooted in biology or derived um, from genes or biology or is innate or is from nature is a lie. Is a lie. So wh who are these imposters? Who are these, who are these imposters, right? Who are these? Let's go right here. We're going to figure it out right now. Jersey, right? Oh, where we at? Let's start right here, man. Okay. The governor, the first governor of West <coughs> Jersey, right? Was a Quaker. Okay. So we know what's going on. The Quakers. The Quakers, right? And the friend of Penn. Right, so William Penn and the Quakers. That's what we dealing with in Jersey and Philly. We dealing with the, the, the Quakers and the Penn, which is the Scottish Quakers, right? We're the settlers, right? These people are immigrants. What they want to call settlers, right? The Jersey was united as New Jersey in, 16, in 1687, right? So it became New Jersey in 1687. And in 1702 became the colony of the proprietorship that made the Church of England the official religion, but religious tolerance, right? So, okay. So these people is coming over here, right? Being missionaries. They're missionaries. Look, okay, so look. They're missionaries. New Jersey's, the Quakers missionaries, okay? Many name. Okay, so look. Thomas, Samuel, John. We got everybody. So we know where they're from. We got these people from England coming up on, coming up, coming up with us, coming to our land, right? Setting up corporations, municipalities, municipalities, right? Like Burlington. Y'all know y'all not American. Y'all settlers, immigrants, right? But 20, you fast forward to 2022, right? Look with them. Your forefathers, are you American? I certainly am. How? Yeah. Oh, right? Immigrants, right? No. You're, you're, you're a United States citizen. I'm not, I'm not a United States citizen. I'm a national. This is my country. You came here on a boat, right? Immigrants, right? No, I was born here. No, your forefathers, are you American? I certainly am. How? I certainly am. Okay, your bloodline descends from where? Sir, you know, I mean, Exactly, so the American is a cop. So he don't know. You don't know where your bloodline descends from, right? But you you claim an American, though. You don't know where you come from. You he, he a sergeant at the police station, right? And you enforcing law. You out here enforcing law, right? But you don't even know where you come from. You don't even know you're not white because you, we understand. White people did not exist on planet Earth until 1681. Number two, any claim that this group called white people, um, any claim that that group is rooted in biology or derived um, from genes or biology or is innate or is from nature is a lie. Is a lie. So who are these people? And why won't they tell us their nationality? Be why doesn't he, a grown man, a 50-year-old sergeant, don't know where you come That's from? That's your people, though. We're different nations. Right. Right. Yeah, you're, you're, you're United States citizen. I'm not, I'm not a United States citizen. I'm a national. It's my country. All 
Right. You came here on a boat, right? Okay. Immigrants, right? No, I was born here. No, your forefathers. Are you American? Just because you're born in a place does not mean you. this is where you're from, bro. Your people come from England. We just read. The, we just read. We just read where they're coming from, right? We just read where they're coming from, right? Okay? These Quakers, right? These William Penn and these Quakers, right? We know they're England, German, and Scottish, right? Look, Scottish Quakers, right? Okay, so when I ask you, what's your, what's your, what's your bloodline? Where you come from? Where's your bloodline come from? Why he ain't just say that? I'm a great trash. No, I was born here. No, your forefathers. Are you American? I certainly am. How? I certainly am. Okay, your bloodline descends from where? Sir, you know, I mean, exactly. See, he don't know. You don't know, but you on our land enforcing your color blue law and your statutes and codes on the nationals of this country. And you don't even know your nationality, bro. And you got my property, though. Y'all got my property, though, right? But y'all gonna learn today. And I'm gonna dig in y'all history just so everybody knows. You feel me? Colonizers. Y'all always was that. Y'all always was colonizers, bro. And it's not happening no more. And in that letter, Penn says, after four years of faithful service, I'm going to free Yaf. And he can, if he wants, and I'll pay for it. Go back to... They the preaching time. we equal but got slaves. This letter... Brotherly love Yaf, and coming over here, escaping religious the, uh, persecution. Uh, and then do this on our land, though. Know, where the ten circles up to London called Deal, uh, which is where Deal in New Jersey uh, has been really named for. Uh, and I they got names all up and down our and country. Some friends and see if I could find any trace of what happened to Yaf in 1703. Because it's my speculation that he would not have come back to the colonies where he had been enslaved. I think as a free man, uh, he in all likelihood stayed in England and probably lived his life out. Uh, and hope someday to get there and see if I can uh, if I can find it out. The reason I think that, by the way, is that there's no record that the man was ever married or had children which would have been the inducement to come back to uh, to the colonies. Okay, so, now, this having is... Put that background in where, front of me, I want to talk a little this, bit about where and when slavery actually began. Okay, in now, and let's get to it. Y'all ready? These, these few stories. Y'all ready? Uh, and it began with these folks, uh, as I'm sure all of you know, the Dutch uh, were very instrumental in, in founding our colony. Okay, so we got Dutch here. We know what's up. We got Dutch here. We got them. We know you. So now it's Dutch. We got some Dutch here. We got some Dutch here, right? We got. I'm just saying, that's your people, though. We're different nations, bro. Yeah, you're, you're, you're United States citizen. I'm not, I'm not a United States citizen. I'm a national. This is my country. You came here on the boat, right? Immigrants, right? No, I was born here. You talking about you born here, so what? You're Dutch. You're Dutch. You're Dutch. German, English, Scottish, right? The reason I think that, by the way, is that there's folks, uh, as I'm sure all of you know, the Dutch, uh, the Dutch. were instrumental in, in founding our colony um, because they started out in what is now New York City, of course, New Netherlands. New Netherlands! Uh, they controlled it for a long time. Okay, so we got the Dutch. We got the Dutch, man, right? We got the Dutch in New York and Jersey, right? We got the Scottish in Jersey, right? We got the English in Jersey, right? And we got the Germans in Philly, Germantown, PA. Germantown, PA is for all the Germans that fled over here. All over here in our land. Um, and the Dutch uh, West India Company uh, was instrumental in establishing a trade colony uh, in Manhattan. And what they did uh, in that time frame was to encourage what were called Dutch patrons or patrons to settle across the river into. To settle across the river. Y'all see that, right? To settle across the river. They settlers. That's what they doing, right? Okay. Look, let's go. These Quakers, right? These new, they called themselves the Society of Friends or Quakers, 
who faith practiced with the racial and the persecution are full upon them. Okay. What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay. Persecution uh, for spiritual freedom led them to flee England. Why are you fleeing your country? This is your nationality right here. You're okay. You come from England, bro. So, so when we asking y'all, what's your, where your bloodline come from? It's my country. Right. You came around the boat, right? We're different nations, bro. Right? Yeah, you're, 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 you're United States citizen. Right. I'm not I'm not United States citizen. I'm a national. It's my country. Right. You came around the boat, right? Okay. Immigrants, right? No, I was born here. No, you're full five. Are you American? I certainly am. How? How? How are you in American when you came from England? It says it right. You know this. I'm just in Google and this. It's simple. Okay? This is many independent religions. England in the mid-1600s. Okay? Strength in the Church of England. Quakers are the few. Uh, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. What we got? Let's find it. We're going we gonna to play. Because y'all y'all going to stop playing with me. Y'all going to stop playing with me. Okay? Y'all going to stop playing with the governor in the province of New Jersey. Okay? You're going to learn today. Y'all going to learn today. Okay? This not that. We're not doing that no more. We ain't going backwards. Okay, we ain't going backwards. Uh, well, we know it's New Jersey uh, by giving them big land grants, land uh, grants, so that they could establish uh, farms and uh, agricultural pursuits. Um, See that? Give you an idea where that Bergen neck was. Here's Manhattan here. Manhattan. And down there is the Battery, and across the what was then called the North River, Hudson, the Hudson River. River. Got the Hudson Here River in what Jersey is now City? Jersey City. City. Couple of blocks from where I went to college. Oh, where I'm back. from. You, how y'all? How y'all me? Makes no this sense. Bergen Neck they're talking about is now Jersey City and Bayonne. Come on, man. Okay, up in what is now Hudson County, but originally Bergen. Come on, that's Jersey City, man. Map. So the Dutch patrons. That's who all Dutch. Sixteen mile long. So we know what's up. Lots of land. So we know what's up. North Jersey. We dealing with the Dutch. We dealing with the Dutch, right? And they got these land grants from who? The Lenape Moors. They got their land grants from the Lenape. This is who they getting their land grants from. They getting their land grants from the Lenape, right? So let's see who the Lenapes is. Let's see who the Lenapes are, okay? Let's go down, right? 1870, right? Established their own schools in the area of the modern day uh, Kent County, which was called Moore Town. Y'all hear me? It was called Moore Town. M O O R T O W N. And it's crazy because right now I'm in Burlington and there's something called Morris Town. You see what I'm saying? This group is commonly referred to as Moors. This group is commonly known as Moors. So they getting land grants for Moors? Okay, established in Burlington? Is this what's going on? So, okay, let's go even deeper, man. Let's go, let's go some more, man. Let's 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 get into it, okay? In the 1800s, okay, most been converted to Christianity. You feel me? So they out here, they missionaries. They was converting us. They 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 they're Quakers, they were missionaries, right? Right? They were missionaries, right? Mission with the Kirkers, right? The settlement in Colonial, New Jersey. Okay, so this is what's going on. They're missionaries. So they out here, they out here uh, turning our people uh, Christians, right? They turning our people Christians, right? Understanding that the uh, Lenape Nanticoke community called Indians, right? They came to be known variously, Moors and Nanticokes up through the 20th century. Okay, so it's Moors and Annie Coops in the twentieth. So come on, man. Okay, so y'all got y'all getting land grants. So Burlington, y'all out here getting land grants, right? We got your history. You out here getting land grants, right? Getting land grants from who? From the Moors. The tribe was known was formerly known as Moors. For many decades, 
in the 20th century. State documents such as driver's license decide des design the tribe race with an M. They put M on their license so they know they Moors. Okay? This is this this in their shit. They know what's up. Okay? 1948, in which the tribe referred to as Moors of, of Kent County, Delaware. Okay? Identified as surviving Indian groups of the eastern United States. So we talking about Moors here, right? We talking about Moors here. The tribe have its constitutional tribal government. So they on government. They standing on next. They coming how I'm coming, right? Where, I'm just asking you, where you from, bro? You don't look like you're from here. It's your people, though. We're different nations. Yeah, you're, you're, you're United States citizen. I'm not, I'm not United States citizen. I'm a national. This is my country. Right. You came here on the boat, right? Immigrants, right? No, I was born here. No, your forefathers. Are you American? I certainly am. How? I certainly am. Okay, your bloodline descends from where? Sir, you know, I do. Exactly, so the American is a copper color person. He he knows that. He know that. Okay? Come on, man. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going because it's going to get deep, man. And we're also buying from the Dutch West India Company slaves to run their agriculture. Buying industry. slaves, man. And we have records from those Got early, records. early 17th century years of okay. slaves coming into New Jersey. Coming into New Jersey. Area, where they would be landed from places like Brazil and, and the Caribbean. Okay. Come from uh, Brazil. A couple in the years Caribbean. later, after the English takeover of New York in 1664, New it, by the way, New York after the Duke of York. See, Duke these of York. Two men who you know very well. But colonists, man. So we know New Jersey, colonists. New York, colonists. Stop playing with us. And it's records. This y'all people talking. <coughs> My name uh, are Berkeley and Carteret. And their document, which is considered the founding document of jersey called the concession and agreement of the lord's proprietor the lord's proprietor induces people to come and settle in east see? and west jersey see that by giving them so they making people come to jersey they like yo come to jersey i'm gonna give you some land i'm gonna set you up proper you're gonna eat you ain't gonna be a slave no more where you at you good you here right these two men who you know very well by name um, are Berkeley and Carteret. Berkeley and, and Carteret. Their document, which is considered the founding document of New Jersey, called the Concession and Agreement of the Lord's Proprietor, induces people to come and settle in East and West Jersey by giving them two or three hundred acres of land. And for every slave they bring in, they get another seventy-five acres. So you understand? Do you hear that deal? Do you hear that deal? Do you hear that deal? They hitting people with the proprietorship, right? And they coming in, they coming in, getting acres. And if they got slaves, they getting even more. They getting even more. New England, New Netherlands, later New York, right? The Southern colonies, right? The Dutch claim as part of New Netherlands, right? Only a few settlers. Look, they they calling themselves settlers. You're an immigrant, and then you colonizing. You an immigrant, and you colonizing, bro. Because you ain't from here. Who give you permission to do what you're doing, bro? Who give you that? Okay? 16, in 1664, the British acquired New Netherlands, renaming it New York after the Duke of York. The new proprietor, right? They just talked about that. The new proprietor. They was giving out land grants. They giving out land grants. They telling people, come through. Come through. I'm going to set you up proper. Come through. I'm going to set you up proper. And you good. Right? A um, couple of years later, after the English takeover of New York in 1664, and rename it, by the way, New York after the Duke of York, these two men, who you know very well by name, um, are Berkeley and Carteret. Berkeley and Carteret. document, which is considered the founding document of New Jersey, called the Concession and Agreement of the Lord's Proprietor. Lord's Proprietor. Induces. Lord's Proprietor, right? Lord's Proprietor, the new proprietor, right? Short off funds, so sold the future New Jersey to the wealthy, right? So look, 
It came from the Channel Island of Jersey. Come on, bro. We're not rocking with that no more, bro. You either gonna uphold the law or you're a colonizer. Straight up. And we ain't doing that no more. We're not doing that no more. So I'm asking you, right? I'm asking them. What's going on? Where you from? Oh, you're, you're, you're United States citizen. I'm not, I'm not a United States citizen. I'm a national. This is my country. Uh, you came around the boat, right? Immigrants, right? No, I was born here. No, your forefathers. So, are you American? All right, so, so you see what happened? So all of these people came over, took over our land, left all their seeds here, right? Now they saying they Americans. Now they, they so confused, they saying they Americans. How? How, Sway? Yeah, you're, 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 you're United States citizen. I'm not a United States citizen. I'm a national. This is my country. Right. You came around the boat, right? Okay. Immigrants, right? No, I was born here. No, your forefathers. Are you American? I certainly am. How? I certainly okay, am. Okay, your bloodline descends from where? Sir, you know, I... Exactly, so the American... He don't know. Come on, man. You know? Come on, bro. You know? Your people came over here. New proprietors, bro. Come on, man. You know? Stop acting like you don't know. Stop acting like you don't know. Mission work in the Quaker settlement. See what they doing? Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, right? New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, right? You see what's going on? So y'all see what's going on, right? Okay. And if these people so, 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 so good, right? So brotherly love, right? Let's let's watch this. Did y'all did y'all know the Quakers got hung? Did y'all know the Quakers got hung? Y'all thought just black people got hung, right? Did y'all know the Quakers got hung? Yes. Yes. The Quakers got hung, and it's proof right here. Boom. William Robertson, right? Two Quakers. Came from England. See, what's your nationality? Okay, to escape religious prosecution. Hey, bro, look, see, man, they they running, they running, and then you coming over here, and then now you talking about your American. Hey, I'm over you. I don't change law. I'm, I'm just saying that's your people, though. We're different nations, that's bro. Our people. Yeah, you're, 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 you're United States citizen. I'm not. I'm not United States citizen. I'm a national. This is my country. Right. You came around the boat, right? Immigrants, right? No, I was born here. No, your forefathers. Are you American? I certainly am. How? I certainly How is he American? How? 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 We know what's up. Y'all got brought over here. Y'all settlers, remember? Y'all settlers, man. Y'all the settlers, bro. So look, these Quakers, right? Escape religious persecution, right? To Look, in Massachusetts, Bay Colony, right? Look. Quakers executed for religious beliefs. Bow. They hung them. They hung them. They hung two Quakers, bro. You see what I'm saying? Y'all coming over here being missionaries, right? And then you get hung in Massachusetts. What is y'all preaching? What is y'all doing that y'all getting hung? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Hey, man, look, it, 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 it's here. And now, you know, we thinking. Us more as we thinking. So it's all there. The proof is here. You can't, you can't run from it, man. Look, the hanging. Look, the hanging. Let's, 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 the hanging. The hanging. The 1660. Okay? The theocracy. They came over here preaching that religion. Try and give it on the people like the Moors. They preaching theocracy. Try to put it on it. It ain't got to shit to get you hung. It got them hung. You feel me? They got them hung. Okay? For anybody practicing Quakerism. Right? In any of that Quakerism. Okay? So, look, man. This is what's going on. This is what's going on. People to come and settle in East and West Jersey by giving them two or three hundred acres of land and 
for every slave they bring in, they get another 75 acres. Mm. So baked into our original documents, our founding documents in our state is slavery. Slavery. And what they're responding to uh, is their patron, the Duke of York. Um, New York? James, Duke of York, was the principal uh, stockholder in a company founded in 1660 called the Royal African Company. Royal and that African company's Company. exclusive purpose uh, for being was to go down to Africa and to trade goods and people. So they go into Africa. These people is leaving England. They leave in Scotland. They leave in Germany. They leave in their place. They come into New Jersey, New York, Boston, New Hampshire. They come into all of these places, right? Setting up these corporations, these de facto corporations, right? Going, going to Africa to get people, bringing them back to our land, right? And making them be slaves, bro. And making them be slaves, bro. And it's document. We got the proof. So Burlington, the state of New Jersey, stop playing with me. If I go in the crates, you don't, I'm telling you, the governor here, you don't want this smoke, man. You better uphold, you better, yo, you better uphold that oath, man. Better uphold the law, man. Because I'm coming with the sword, man. I promise. On all angles. History and law. I'm coming on all angles, man. Which fuel the slave trade into originally the Caribbean and then up to the colonies here. James, the Duke of York, after whom they named New York, New York. Uh, eventually becomes James II. So early on, the English colonists, as well as other European uh, entities uh, were endorsing and profiting from the sale of human beings, Africans. The sale of human beings. These same people, these same people running, these same people running from persecution, right? From England, right? From the from the from the crown and the church, right? Is over here. Is over here do, setting up shop, making slavery here. Like these guys bogus. Like, do you understand like how y'all run how you dodge in slavery and gonna set up business and, and start enslaving people? The indigenous people here, what's wrong with you? And bring the Africans over here. Like, come on, bro. James, the Duke of York, after whom they named New York, uh eventually becomes James the Second. So early on, the English colonists as well as other European uh entities. Uh, were endorsing and profiting from the sale of human beings, Africans, to the New World. Um, a lot of this happened in the Caribbean, and this is a, a fairly famous image of uh, Quaker business people, farmers, and you can see some slaves here in the background. Uh, Quakers business, you see that? The Quakers, man. The Quakers, man. The Quakers, man. The Quakers. The Quakers, man. It's these Quakers, man. These these first people, man. Okay? These these first people, man. These Quakers, right? And they right here in Burlington. These same colonizers that's got my property. They right here in Burlington. Right? Burlington, right? Okay. These Quakers, man. These Quakers, man. Okay? Pennsylvania Quakers will meet the historical city to begin in 300 years. Come on, man. They've been in here 300 years. Look, the beginning was the first general meeting for the East and West Jersey of Religious Society of Friends or Quakers. It was held in the home of Thomas on the Delaware River in 1681, right? See what's going on? They happy about this new world. They just coming up here, setting up shop. You feel me? 1674, Lord Berkeley okay, sold half of his West Jersey to two Quakers. Okay? West Jersey. Burlington is the capital of West Jersey. Two Quakers, right? These, these guys, man. These, these guys, man. What's going on, man? And look, okay? The proprietors, these, the new proprietors, right? Uh, the inhabitants of the province. Now they're talking. The province. 
of West New Jersey in America. The province of West New Jersey in America, man. So you see what's going on. They coming, they coming from England, getting land grants from Moors, right? Lenape Indians known as Moors, right? And they giving out acres away. They giving out acres away, man. Nanny Coke Moors, man. The family, man. And, and, and these guys are bogus. My ancestors let you come over here, man. You got my property. That's a lot of people. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a United States citizen. Right? I'm, not, I'm not a United States citizen. I'm a national. It's my country. Right. You came here on a boat, right? Okay. Immigrants, right? No, I was born here. No, your forefathers. Are you American? I certainly am. How? I certainly am. Okay, your bloodline descends from where? Sir, you know, I mean, exactly. So the American is a copper colored person. He knows that. Oh, man. You see what's going on? And we letting them run our world. These are the people out here enforcing law. These are the people out here locking people up. These are the people out here taking people's property. See what's going on? You giving people a little bit of freedom? Look, and look what happened. They turn up. But you know what's going on now? Now we're going to recolonize our country back, though. Now we're about to take our shit back over. Because y'all don't know how to act. We give you a little piece of freedom and you don't know how to act. You leaving your country. You don't even know your nationality. It's so They left their country so long ago, right? That they offsprings don't even know their nationality no more. They saying they American. They're bogus. Bogus, man. Even though we associate now Quakers with abolition, in the original early days of the uh, founding of colonies, both in the Caribbean and up here, Quakers were just Englishmen who were business people like everyone else. They Englishmen. Business people. Just like anyone else. Right? So these these this people, man. These these people, man, that we let set up shop, man. They coming over here, man. These Quakers, man, right? As missionaries, man. Fleeing England, man. Fleeing England, right? For spiritual freedom. Led them to flee England, man. To establish religious haven in Pennsylvania, man. They coming over here with us, Moat. Well, we got it up, set up shop at. Well, we lit at. You feel me? We got it lit already. What y'all talking about? We got it lit. We got a government. It's established already. It's lit. What you talking about? Come on, man. It's all right here, man. Come on, man. Y'all act like I, I'm telling y'all, man. I, I'm cold with this, man. You don't, I, hey, man. Listen, man. Everybody held liable, man. In fact, Lewis Morris that we talked about before and his brother Richard uh, wound up owning a, a huge acres of sugarcane plantations in Barbados before they came up to this part of the world. When Lewis Morris uh, comes up to uh, New Jersey, he establishes, as I mentioned, a farm and an iron mill at Tinton Falls over here by my part of the state in Monmouth County. His brother Richard uh, opens up a plantation in what is now the book. You see what I'm saying? They open up the plantation. They going to get Africans. Remember, Royal African Company, 1660, by these same guys. They go, they setting up shop. And, and the effects is today. The effects is, is today. Today is these the effects. These are the effects. Okay? If we're being told something wrong, you're saying that we're not educated, then it's the responsibility of someone like Michael Schmidt then from the Department of Homeland Security to educate that it's taken right now in our state. You need, I'm not saying anything about your license. Okay. I'm not saying anything about your license. Okay. I'm not saying anything about your license. You see that? Okay. So my license is valid. You saw a license is valid according to Burlington City Police, right? You this this is valid according to Burlington City Police. This valid, right? This valid. But these same guys, right? This the sergeants. These same rookies two days before give my shorty a ticket for fake driver's license and say my car ain't got no registration. You bogus. And I got you on camera. Got you on camera, bro. So it's like, bro, these guys, man, you, you, you're
You're not upholding the law, so you're a colonizer, bro. You're a colonizer, bro. Straight up. Same insurance. You liable insurance. No, I'm an asshole. You stay I'm over you. I don't change law. I'm just saying, that's your people, though. We're different nations, bro. Yeah, you're, 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 you're a United States citizen. I'm not, I'm not a United States citizen. I'm a national. It's my country. Right. You came here on a boat, right? Okay. Immigrants, right? No, I was born here. No, your forefathers. Are you American? I certainly am. How? He certainly am. He certainly am American. How? Oh, look. How? Look, province. I wish they would. Not like my, how could you deny my license? Look, it say, the new proprietors, freeholders, inhabitants of the province of West New Jersey in America. They know what's up. But you accept my license, right? You try to say my insurance ain't valid, right? Then I had to school you on that, right? I had to school them on that, right? As valid insurance. He said the company's myself. Insured by me. How slow is this guy? Six months is not enough. You liable insurance. Look, he gonna agree now. Look. See, so now back to the registration. So y'all see in the first beginning, right? They recognize my driver's license. We're being my driver's license is cool. Wrong. You're saying that we're not my insurance is cool. He's not saying anything about my license. Okay, I'm not saying anything about your license. Right? And I just school him on my insurance, right? But then it's go back to, oh, my registration. Come on, dog. No, the company is not myself. What are you talking about? Why is your job to read this? It's not, of course, the, what's the company on my insurance? What do you mean? Why are you saying that we're not going to be able to do this responsibility of someone like Mike Bush Van Damme? You want to look it up? Before you pass or something, you should do your due diligence and look it up before you decide these dollars are resolved the registration. Now back to the registration. Right? Watch this. So, so he want me to register my cough under them. He want me to be a resident of the state of New Jersey. He want me to be a resident. I will never be a resident, buddy. I'm foreign to you. I'm foreign to you. So when you foreign and you doing business and they so-called state, because they're colonized, we just unravel that. We ain't even going to play no more. This our shit. When they're doing business in our state, you got to put them on notice, right? So you get a certificate of authority, right? To transact business. And I don't got, and them, and keep them out my business, right? So pay attention. Pay attention to my language. In business in New Jersey, to transact business in New Jersey, a foreign corporation must obtain a certificate of authority, okay? Um, uh, a foreign corporation may be authorized to do business which may be done lawfully in New Jersey by a domestic corporation. I got that on file. Bow. So mind you, this certificate of authority is looked over by the Secretary of State and signed by the Treasury of the state of New Jersey, right? Public record. I'm the agent. I'm the, my name is listed in address as the agent. Of my domestic foreign corporation, right? with the law why are you playing with me like we don't line up with the law right and then i go down there and then you guys accept 
You accept my driver's license to get my car back. Accept my insurance to get my car back, right? But then you don't say I don't have valid registration. You guys are bogus. And you are coming like colonizers. If you're not upholding the law, you're colonizer. And we know where you're from, right? We know where you're from, right? We know you're from England, right? We know we, we know what's up. We know you missionaries, right? We know you you we you flee England. We 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 know that. We know your forefathers flee England and came here, right? Pennsylvania, Jersey, all of that, right? And got land grants from Lenape, right? Who was known as Moors, right? Delaware moving south into New Jersey and Philadelphia. These same areas these guys is at, New Jersey and Philadelphia, right? And they come and setting up shop. Giving out land grants to any Englishman, any German, any Scottish, any Quaker, any of these people. And they just giving out land like they from here and they could do that. Bronx, and those of you that are familiar with that part of the world may recognize the name Morrisania. Morrisania is the, uh, the name that has come down to us from Richard Morris's plantation. Um, Lewis Morris. Uh, the original uh, owner of all this land here in Monmouth County uh, established this Monmouth County iron mill at Tinton Falls precisely because of this waterway uh, which could power his water wheels uh, so they could grind uh, various agricultural products for sale to New York. Look at these guys. I mean, idea, not that many years later, 60 years later, in 60 one of the years first later, census records that we have a 1737 in New Jersey, you'll see the counties then named, and you'll see white people over here, total of about 40, almost 43 and a half thousand white people in New Jersey. But white people, look, 1737, right? 1737, right? White people, 17. White people did not exist before 1681. <laughs> Again, white people, did not <laughs> so look okay you hear it right you did you I, I heard exist it, right? on planet earth until 1681 until 1681 right 16 and this is the census for white people in 1737 they just getting started <laughs> they just getting started y'all just y'all knew y'all new to the planet earth <laughs> jersey by 1730 right so and in this column, uh, columns, Negroes and other slaves, uh, owner of all this land here in Monmouth County, uh, established this farm in, in New Jersey. You'll see the counties then named, and you'll see white people over here. White people over there, right? White people. That's what he's, that, look, that's what they calling themselves. They ain't saying where they from. They hiding that. They ain't saying their nationality. They don't know their bloodline. I just asked them his bloodline. Oh, right? Almost. White people. That's all they know. I'm white. They, I asked them his bloodline, right? He don't know. He don't know. We didn't you He don't know. That's not us. I don't change laws. I'm just saying, that's your people, though. We're different nations, bro. Yeah, you're, you're, you're United States citizen. I'm not, I'm not a United States citizen. I'm a national. This is my country. Right. You came here on the boat, right? Immigrants, right? No, I was born here. See? Your forefathers. Are you American? See? I certainly am. He certainly am. How? How, brother? How, brother? It don't say that. It say white. It say white, brother. It say white. It don't say American, brother. That's not. That's not the same. White and American ain't the same. In New Jersey, you'll see the counties then named, and you'll see white people over here. White people, right? That's what they rocking with, right? So let's go to their history, and we are gonna let their people say their history, so we won't look racist. White people did not exist before 1681. Again, white people did not exist on planet Earth Break it until down. 1681. Break it down, sister. Number two, any claim that this group called white people, um, any claim that that group is rooted in biology or derived um, from genes or biology or is innate or is from nature, is a lie. Is a lie. Third. Is a lie. Go, 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 go. Is a As lie. A of you hear that, right? Law, actually, let me say it this way. Is a lie. White supremacy has white people 
did not exist on planet Earth until 1681. Okay. Y'all hear that? So, enough's enough, man. I rest my case, man. I only went in for like an hour. I don't want to be too long, man. I, 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 it's proof. You see what I'm saying? Y'all got your land grants from the Moors. Y'all, y'all, y'all calling yourself white people. Y'all disguising your nationality, right? This is what we doing. Y'all know what's up. Now we woke. Okay? Total of about 40, almost 43 and a half thousand white people in New Jersey. See? And in this column, 